Hello, folks. Welcome back to the show. So today I'm joined by the Duchess of Essex. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you here. So we are going to today talk about five of my recent top ten from my all-time top ten list, which was a popular video. And the Duchess is going to pick her favourite, and then we'll do the same video about in about a week's time of the other five, and have a grand finale between the two of them. Before we do that, don't forget, folks, that if you want to buy fragrance samples, my recommended USA-based fragrance sampling site is the Fragrance Decamp Boutique. That's decampboutique.com, and I've got a code for you. The code Mr. Smelly 10 gets used 10% off across the site, which has a stunning array of designer and niche fragrances. My recommended UK based fragrance sampling site is Fragrance Samples UK, and the same code Mr. Smelly 10 also works there. Superb range of fragrances on that site, too, both linked in the description. Okay, let's get into it. So, we've got five on tester strips. You smelled most of them I in did, my did. company before now, so you've got a bit of an experience with them. We're not blind sniffing them. First one up then is going to be this one. It's on the end of the strip there, and this one is Colonia. Essenza, a long-standing favourite of mine that was in the last video, Aqua de Palma, a citrus aromatic. Have a sniff and tell us what you think of that one. Oh, that's I actually genuinely love Aqua de Palma usually, but this one does have a, a fly spray kind of aroma to it, and um, I'm not a massive fan. I'm actually going to rate that a six, Dan. Okay, Sorry. fair enough. Okay, next up we're going to go for Bois de Portugal from Creed. So uh, this is one of my long-standing favourites, but don't let that influence your opinion. I like them all. Uh, and of course, this is a 1987 release and uh, it's got notes including bergamot, lavender, sandalwood and vetiver. Pierre Bourdon was the perfumer. Apparently Frank Sinatra used to wear it. What do you make of Bois de Portugal by Creed? I like Creed, as you know. Yes. But that is not my favourite. Okay. Now, I have a kind of love-hate with this one because it does remind me of the 1970s, like what my dad wore. And I don't mean that with disrespect because the 70s was a fantastic era and the guys all smelled good. Yeah, I'm going to give that a 7.5. Okay. It really does take me back to the 70s. It's very retro. I don't think it's a all day scent. It's quite strong, it's quite potent, but it is very, if you're after something retro, that's your one and it is very nice. Okay. Thank you so much. Next up, we're going to go with one that is a vintage bottle. It's the old formula of Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme, a citrus classic from the mid-90s. The first fragrance for men from Dolce & Gabbana. Yeah, I love that. You often wear this one, Dan. It I has do. a very, very sexy aroma to it. I just love that. It's an all-day night mm. Fragrance, it is an absolute winner for me. Mm -hmm. Really love that, and I am going to give that an eight because I really enjoy that. It is an all day, all night one. It's and and it lasts. That one sort of seems to sort of follow you around, and that's a good. I love it, absolutely okay. love it. It's very sexy, very that manly. Is, that is the vintage Italian formula. The modern version also quite good, but doesn't quite smell the same. So you may struggle to find that. But you can still get yeah. bottles on eBay if you're lucky. We're going to go next with another long-standing uh, favourite of mine. Again, the modern version still good, but I do have an older bottle. Bear that in mind, folks. This is Eau Sauvage from, of course, the house of Dior. And what do you think of Dior Eau Sauvage? Probably helps if I spray the smell the right thing. It does, yes. <laughs> I love that. It's very citrusy, but not in a fly spray time kind of way. It is, it's, yeah, I love that. And I'm going to give that a nine. Wow. It's a real timeless classic. Okay. Great love, classic. Love it. Love. Really good. Released in the 60s. Citruses, woods, vetiver, jasmine. Beautiful fragrance. I, I thank you and I agree that it's great. And last but not least, and it's uh, on that end there, it's Chanel's Egoist. First released in 19... Whoops. 1990, famous for a really nice sandalwood note, that one. Okay, well, I've already smelt this one, and I already um, decided this was my favourite. Um, it is very, very woody and spicy, very manly. And I'm going to give that one a nine, because I absolutely love that. I really do, but I am a, a massive Chanel fan. Brilliant. So, yeah. Okay, nine for Love Egoist. it. I'm going to give Egoist a nine. Okay, Okay. so Egoist and Eau Sauvage, both nine out of ten, so there's those two in the lead. If you, if I had to push you or held the gun to your head, not that I would do that, which one would you pick? Okay, can I smell the... Um, the tiebreaker. The, okay, yeah, yeah. please. So Eau Sauvage is there. Get rid of that. Add a push. Oh, hold on. Give me a minute. I'm going to win that one. 
Just slightly oh, so, pipped to the post. Oh, Savage goes through to the grand finale. We'll do another five for my recent top ten and pick the overall winner. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Uh, remember, whatever we're doing in life, let's project. And although sometimes life can stink, at least we can always smell good. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Let, let us know what you thought about this collaboration. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.